Hey guys! So this is Head Kate Witch. So in this video, I'm going to, first of all, say I found lavender oil. I cannot believe that I had lavender oil. And I'm going to be making um, Head Kate candles using this oil. Um, I was going to buy sushi oil, but I'm going to tell you something. I smell this. So I can get it open. Come on. And it just smells so good. It's not really heavy, which is great. Uh, this is not an essential oil. This is basically a fragrance oil. But one of the things that I am learning to do is to do things on a budget and basically to work with what um, I have and not really buy expensive stuff. So I'm going, I'm going to do this and all that. I don't know why uh, it like does this. I don't know why. So the second a package is coming in, I think I mentioned that before, and so I'm going to be um, doing that. So the point of this video, besides telling you guys, I found lavender oil is to do my week hard reading for the month of September. I want to do a lot more um, involved um, things. I'm not a professional reader, but I feel the need to do this. All right, so I'm using the kitty, the Carol of the Pagan Cats, um, in this reading. And it's going to be a three card reading, and I'm just going to basically use what uh, I'm going to basically just tell you what I sense and what I get from the cards. And if you hear obscene noises, that's my brother. He's talking to his friend from Connecticut. All right. So one thing you have to realize is I do not fan. Um, I should fan, but I don't. Um, this time around, I think I will fan because uh, something's telling me to fan. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and basically And thank you, Mr. 19 subscriber, for subscribing to my channel, if you, if you want to know. I have 19 subscribers now. Yay! Press my hand, put my hand over it, and say, "Those ices, those pancake, gold fonts, and any other beauties you see to the future. Allow me to understand what is being taught to me, so that I may may get a tiny glimpse of what kind of life I will have, as it is my will, and your will, so shall." I'll go ahead and fan. I'm not going to fan the traditional wear where I'm just like, I'm just like do this. Um, I'm basically going to do this stuff here. So, I'll try to fan. I suck at fanning. This is why I don't like doing fanning because I suck at uh, Hold on a second. Alright, so that was my brother testing. Um, so I'll show you guys how it looks. Alright. Just going to put that. Alright, so this is all fanned out. My altar is going, except for that and that. So I'm going to basically use my sense or feel. Alright. I 
get a good feeling from this card. This card. And this card. Alright. Right. Okay, so set that over there. Now, I already know what question I'm going to ask. So, and um, basically, what the question is is that what is the month coming up going to be like? So, how I generally do it is. I start off with the middle card to represent the past, and I got the Emperor. Alright. Oh, come on. There you go. Sometimes I can't stand that. Uh, the Emperor. Now, I really, really love this card. This card is too freaking cute. Alright, so. He has this, he has the coins, and the swords, and the cups, and the staffs. And... Alright, so... He's on top of it, looking all cute and fluffy. And what I'm getting from this card, since it's the past, is... Being on top of the elements being on top of the directions, um, understanding uh, what these elements mean. And the, now that I'm just telling you what I'm getting from the card. Since he's on top of it all, it means that he rules over all of this. There's, he is strong, you can't knock him down, he knows his stuff. And I might have thought this would have been like the magician because the magician would be like occult knowledge and master of occult knowledge. But he seems like that he's really like the master of things. So that's the past. Over here we have the King of Swords. Now, I'll be honest, guys, the King of Swords always seems to be one of those cards that I have a hard time getting an impression of. So. So he's got his tail around the sword, meaning that it's meaning that the sword is not really far away from him. It's actually like at the moment. So it's like up straight, meaning that in time that he could just grab the sword and defend himself. Um, there's really no nothing around him, just stone and the sword. So. Um, this is the downside of not getting a card's, um, now this is the present, so, um, by the way, this says hops on it, <laughs> what the heck, so, I'm doing this with one hand here, okay, oh, swords, um, what's the next pick? It says here, Someone who has authority makes decision or is a professional dealing with ideas, systems, or communication. Okay. So apparently I was right about that, about him being um, basically that there's nobody around him and nobody to challenge him. So yeah, that would be accurate. Now this is the future, this is the answer to it. And that is the fool. <laughs> oh, wow. So, interesting. Looks like I'm going on a journey. So apparently September is going to be all about being on a journey. So, yeah, there's my, um, there's my three card reading for the month of September. I just kind of wanted to get, let you guys see um, how I did things ever since I bought this beautiful deck of cards. So my next one will be the my Oracle reading for the month of, month of September. So I hope that you enjoy it. So I'll see you guys around. Bye.